If you ask me how many whole numbers are between 2 and 5, I can very well imagine 2 and 5 on the number line like this and draw some markings for 2 and 5 and then I know how to count from 2 to 5. So while counting I get 3 and then 4 and then 5. I can write 3 here and I can write 4 here and then I know between 2 and 5 there are 2 whole numbers. Similarly for integers, if you ask me how many integers are between say minus 4 and 3, I can again draw a number line. Let's draw a green number line that we had drawn and let's do the markings again. So after minus 4, I have minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2 and 3. Let's complete the markings. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So I have 6 integers between minus 4 and 3. But if the similar question was posed for 2 rational numbers, how should we go about answering that? Now the question is how many rational numbers are between say minus 2 by 3 and 1 by 2. So as usual my approach will be let me draw a number line first and then I will write minus 2 by 3 here. I know this is negative so it's on the left and to its right 1 by 2 will lie somewhere here. Now I want to count how many rational numbers are between minus 2 by 3 and 1 by 2. Having said that I know rational number is anything that can be represented as p by q where p and q are integers and q is not a 0. Now I definitely know there is 0 in between minus 2 by 3 and 1 by 2 because on the left of 0 there are negative numbers and on the right of 0 there are positive numbers. And 0 can be represented by p by q by just writing 0 as say 0 by 1 or 0 by 2, 0 by anything. So 0 is a rational number. So I have found one rational number. Can I find more? I think I can. I know when I go to 1 by 2 to the right of 0, I encounter some more numbers which are probably between 0 and 1 by 2. 1 by 2 is half. So I know quarter is less than 1 by 2. And it's exactly half of 1 by 2. So can I can I write 1 by 4 here? Yes, I can. Now between 0 and 1 by 4, can I again halve it and say this is 1 by 8? Yes, I can. And I can keep I can keep going and I can keep writing this as 1 by 16. And I can keep writing more and more rational numbers. So just between 0 and 1 by 2, I have already written some numbers, and there definitely are going to be more numbers since I am just dividing the distance by 2. And I can keep dividing and I can keep getting different rational number. So when I go from 0 to minus 2 by 3 on the left, there are more numbers that I can encounter. Yes. When I go to the left, since this is minus 2 by 3, I can definitely find minus 1 by 3 since it is halfway between 0 to minus 2 by 3. Now can I find more between minus 1 by 3 and 0? If I divide this distance by 2, I should get minus 1 by 6. And if I keep doing it, I'll, I'll keep getting new rational number. I'll get say minus 1 by 12 here. Now just by dividing the new rational number by 2, I'm getting new rational number. And they all are between minus 2 by 3 and 1 by 2. And now this seems confusing. But can I find some method through which I can definitely say how many rational numbers are between two rational numbers? Let's explore with the same example. Now I am going to draw the number line again and plot the markings for minus 2 by 3 and 1 by 2. Now to explore how many rational numbers can we really have between two rational numbers, let us try to make the denominator of minus 2 by 3 and 1 by 2 the same. So if I do that minus 2 by 3 and 1 by 2, I will multiply the numerator and denominator of the fraction on the left by 2 which is basically the denominator of the second fraction and the numerator and denominator of the fraction on the right by 3 which is the denominator of the fraction on the left. And these are equivalent fractions. So I get minus 4 by 6 and 3 by 6. Minus 4 by 6 is equivalent to minus 2 by 3 and 3 by 6 is equivalent to 1 by 2. So now what we are going to do is that we are going to change the numerator and keep the denominator while we travel from left to right. What I mean by that is we are just going to plot rational numbers like this minus 3 by 6, then minus 2 by 6, then minus 1 by 6, 0 by 6, 
1 by 6 and 2 by 6 and then we reach 3 by 6. Let's plot these markings here and I have few rational numbers just by making the denominator of the two given rational numbers the same. Now let me count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So can I say there are 6 rational numbers between two given rational numbers? No, that would be a big mistake because you keep seeing this small distance appearing between two rational numbers and this distance can still be divided and the points that are between these distances will also be rational numbers. So all these distances are basically 1 by 6, right? So now let's just focus on this distance here. We have 2 by 6 and we have 3 by 6. Now can I represent 2 by 6 and 3 by 6 in any other form using some other equivalent fractions? Yes, I can. I can represent 2 by 6 by multiplying numerator and denominator by 2 again or we can choose any number but I am just choosing 2 here. So 2 times 2, 4 and then 12 in the denominator and 3 by 6 can be written as 6 by 12. Now can I write 2 by 6 and 3 by 6 as 4 by 12 and 6 by 12 and then I definitely know there is 5 by 12 in between. So somehow out of thin air just by finding the equivalent fractions of the two rational numbers here we found another rational number between the two rational numbers and then we might say okay now that we have found 5 by 12 there has to be one more rational number between the other rational numbers as well. Now but wait let us just look at this distance now. So I have 2 by 6 which is basically 4 by 12 and then I have 5 by 12. Now between 4 by 12 and 5 by 12 right now I do not see any other rational number but what if I still find equivalent fractions of 4 by 12 and 5 by 12. So let us multiply 4 by 12 and 5 by 12 by 3 in the numerator and denominator. So I am choosing to multiply by 3. You can choose to multiply by any number and find an equivalent fraction. So here we get 12 by 36 and then for 5 by 12 I get 15 by 36. So let me just write it here 12 by 36 and 15 by 36. Now between 12 by 36 and 15 by 36 I have 13 by 36, 14 by 36 and I have found two new rational numbers between this small space. It all depends upon by which number are we multiplying the numerator and denominator and we can find as many rational numbers between any two rational numbers. So theoretically there are infinite rational numbers between two distinct rational numbers. And so the answer to the original question is infinite. So remember between any two given distinct rational numbers. Why I am saying distinct is because if I say 1 by 6 and 2 by 12 these are the same fractions. These are the only single point you can represent 1 by 6 or 2 by 12 for the same thing. And so that's why I am saying distinct. The two given rational numbers have to be distinct. So there are infinite rational numbers between any two given distinct rational numbers.